Well, we have uh, forums as, uh, as, as a civilian licensed firearm owners where, you know, if, if anything happens, it is posted on that forum. And uh, when it was posted on that forum, you know, the idea is if you are in close proximity to the, to the place where the event is happening, just try and be a help. Try and save lives. The bottom line here is to try and save lives, period. I was driving on Campbell Road and uh, by God's grace I was able to get to the scene within eight, nine minutes. There was, there was no jam whatsoever. So, you know, I got there, I found a few civilians also, licensed firearm owners. A few minutes later some police officers arrived and uh, GSU officers and GSU Reiki officers. And, uh, you know, we just uh, put ourselves together and said, guys, okay, we identified ourselves and we said, okay. We're getting information from the people who are coming from the inside and you know we, we, we just said some went in one direction we went in another direction and like i said the idea was just to save lives that's all i think by and large the law enforcement officers did a superb job uh, it's a learning curve if you look at uh, the response of the 1998 uh, U.S. Embassy bombing, uh, the, all the, the, the terrorist uh, attacks that have been there since 98 to the West Gate to now Dusit. There's a huge difference. And of course, it's a learning curve. It, it shows that we have learned and the law enforcement have really done a good job. I must commend uh, the Minister for Interior and uh, you know the IG and uh, uh, KDF, all that responded, you know, they did it systematically and they, it was well coordinated and even as we were there trying to save lives, you know, you felt a sense of, uh, a sense of great order, you know, as opposed to previous times and uh, it was all because they were there and they knew what they, they, they needed to do. So, I wouldn't know, you know, and I don't know. All I can say is that he's not our member. Okay. Uh, our member have a strict code of ethics. And, uh, you know, it is not up to a civilian licensed firearm owner to go to a place where there is something happening, just to, you know, just to be there. You must go there to save lives. You must be actively involved. If you have no role, if you don't wish to be involved, then don't go. I think that's that's the idea, you know, as a civilian licensed firearm owner, an, an event like that is not a, an opportunity to go and parade your weapons, you know, and uh, it, it's, it's not an opportunity to go and, uh, you know, be a cowboy. And, uh, you know, the, the few licensed firearm owners who involve themselves in acts such as this are the ones who erode the good name of the majority who actually follow the law, who are actually, you know, keen on saving lives.